Hi, this is Elisa from 222 Handspun, and today I'm scouring some raw alpaca fleece that I have. And I have some power scour that I'll be using to get this nice and clean. I like using power scour, I think it's uh, great for any kind of raw fleece. And um, I'll show you how to do that. Right now, I'm just putting it in some room temperature water. I want the alpaca to absorb that water because it does tend to resist any sort of moisture, which is a nice feature of alpaca, but when you're washing it, you do want to make sure that it's soaked through. So I'm gently submerging it. I'm not agitating it or doing anything that would cause it to felt. And I will let that sit for about 20 minutes or so until it's really nice and absorbed. I've taken the fleece out of this tub basin and I'm just letting it drain a little bit. I'm now going to add a uh, really hot tap water to this and I will be adding the detergent and power scour. You don't have to use too much which is really nice. Uh, a little bit goes a long way. I tend to be generous in the amount that I use. And now I'm going to be adding hot, hot tap water. I'm just adding the fleece directly to that water and it has a lot of room to move around. Just going to lay it out there and let that soak for about 15-20 minutes. I have a little trick. I have the top of a plastic tub that I'm going to put over the sink. It kind of fits just perfectly and that will keep the heat inside while this is soaking. I don't want it to cool down. I'm ready to give this the first rinse. See how we did here. Should have a lot of the dirt out of here. Looks like. See all that dirt in the water? I'm going to go ahead and strain this. The easiest way is just to dump it, but I'm recording with one hand, so I'm going to have to pull it over. Make sure I get all of that out of there. Look at all that dirt. Here's some of the dirt that came out in the first rinse, and um, I expect some more to come out in the second. Now I'm going to give it a little bit more of power scour and some hot water. I'm gently submerging this. I don't want to agitate it at all. And I'm gonna let that soak for another 15 minutes. I'm straining this now, and you can see there's still a little bit of that dirt, but a lot of it came out in the bottom of this, so I'm gonna add some hot water. And just let that soak for a little while longer. So now in my final uh, rinse bath and you can see that a lot of this is 
really nice and clean now and I have some parts here that are heavy with vegetable matter and I wanted to show you this because some people mistakenly believe that in the scouring process that all these little bits and pieces of grass will just come out and especially with alpaca or fine fibers that's just not the case um, you're gonna have to probably comb a lot of that out so I wanted to show you the difference of these two parts of the uh, blanket of this alpaca fleece um, this was around the lower edges and you know you can see really um, dirty normally what I would do is I would actually separate these out before washing but for the purpose of this video I just put everything into a uh, small container and I'm doing it all at once okay, so now I'm gonna take it out of the dryer I should say it doesn't really dry it it just removes the excess moisture but I think you get the picture this takes a lot of time out of uh, washing fleece and uh, yarn and I love it. It was a great investment and you can see how uh, it looks all ready to hang out to dry.